How's it going guys? So I'm gonna fire up the sprayer tractor right now. We got soybeans to spray today. So last video we learned we should check our oil every time. Should be good for today. So I really like this tractor on the sprayer. Turns really tight with the two wheel drive. Kinda easy to keep it between the rows because you see the front wheels really well. Yesterday we had a fencing company here set up our pasture behind the new heifer barn. So we're looking forward to getting cattle out into there today. We're gonna get electric set up today and then I'll have to film letting the cattle out. They're gonna like it for sure. Dad and I got the sprayer filled up. We spray Liberty on our soybeans. Take care of marriage tail better than glyphosate. Got some fertilizer in there too. Just gonna put a little bit of air in my sprayer tires and then we can get started. These tires both tend to lose a little bit of air. Just gotta keep an eye on them. So I'm starting at this rented farm. We got soybeans and corn at this farm. Corn's looking really nice. So these soybeans we no-tilled straight into the triticale stubble and they're looking good do have some weeds though this field's probably the worst one but these are all mare's tail and if i spray glyphosate on these wouldn't kill them i don't like how big they're getting though they're pretty big i think the liberty will still take care of them yeah these weeds end up getting really big by fall make a bunch of seeds and the corn it's about head tall today's june 28th this was the corn we planted the 4th of May, I believe was the date. We've had some good timely rains. Here we go, we're going after them. We just had rain the other day. Got a good sunny day today, so those weeds should be growing. They should take that chemical in and take care of them. spray tank I'm gonna have to mix up a little bit more we have 65 acres of soybeans this year 750 gallon tank does 50 so that leaves 15 left I'm gonna get some lunch and then make a little bit more spray dad's working on running the electric lines out to our new fence We'd run two wires, one for the ground and one for the electric. Just lift it up right there. Yeah. Dad's gonna fill that trench in now with the skid loader the rest of the way. Fence should be shocking. Just gotta close our gate, we can let some cattle out. We went with a five wire high tensile. And the, the bottom wire is 14 inches off the ground, so we have a little bit of room to mow underneath. The cattle should be able to keep it cleaned up pretty good too. Uh, the, the top wire and the second from the bottom are shocking. Towards the front of the meadow, towards the house, we should put this woven wire on the outside of it. A nice looking fence so what we're planning to do is we got two sections of the pasture this will be for heifers that'll be for dry cows the dry cows will come around the back side down that concrete alleyway from that barn and then the heifers we're just going to let out the oldest three groups we're going to combine these all hey 
Head out. Come on. Come on. Just terrified of grass. It'll be good for him to get some exercise. Head out the door, come on. So we shouldn't have to remove any gates. The two in the back will just sit against the wall and then the front ones will close in the middle. three pens of these are run together and the end two lanes are open so it's just all one big pen about 31 head so now we're gonna get the dry cows out we got this concrete lane that goes over to our dry cow barn we also scrape manure across it but they can walk across there and then the fence starts and they got this nice area so we got these two gates here that lock together and we can just let these dry cows out this is our manure stacking area this gate starts right after it, so we still have that space. We sort of thought of this last minute. We weren't planning to put this concrete walkway through here or this manure piling area. Yeah, kind of last minute decided to add it. It's really working out good. I wouldn't mind if the manure stacking area was twice the size, but I can't complain. These are dry cows and also heifers that are within a couple months of having their first calf. For those who don't know, every cow she'll milk for about 10, 12 months. And then when she's about to have another calf, we'll dry her off, stop milking her for two months. And it's just a little break they get before they come back into milk when they have a calf. So these are a lot of older cows. There's still some young ones in here too. So we had done this walkway, set it up as a scrape alley and a walkway. So when we have liquid manure out of that barn, we scrape it across and can catch this pit that's under the heifer barn. pit just sticks out the end here nice lift that lid off we don't have all our animals outside all the time but at least to give everyone a chance some of the time is nice kind of difficult with the milking cows but the uh, dry cows are a little bit easier I'm gonna get my drone out then I want to show you is the border a little bit better i've been really looking forward to getting this all set up getting an actual nice fence put in we used to have a dry cow pasture we'd run them out it was just metal fence posts and then we had a single wire at the top that was electrified but uh it was way too flimsy they would break out multiple times a year it was really annoying this is our new waterway down through there the fence runs right along the waterway out through it's a nice lot here because it's all kind of sloped doesn't lay low so it's not gonna get too muddy if we get a heavy rain we're gonna want to keep the cattle out for a little bit probably but it shouldn't get too bad we got the sprayer loaded up again just uh, 225 gallons for 15 acres up the last field and I just washed the tank out I'm gonna send my drone up now and just kind of show you how this pasture is laid out
So I'm gonna sweep this feed in for these heifers. It's gonna change the way we feed these now. The oldest three groups there are not gonna eat quite as much because they have grass. When we built this barn, we went with smaller groups just because we like to keep the sizes separate. They're just not competing as much and we can feed them a little bit differently. Right now we're feeding the ones past this point a little more protein than the older ones. So these are all getting the same ration. So the heifer barn's over there. This meadow wraps around out to the road. It's just this thin area here. Fields over here were always kind of awkward. So it came to a point around this curve there. So uh, we just put this pasture straight across the end. That field will be nice and straight. It just comes straight off the road. And then uh, here in the middle, sent this fence out to the middle of the heifer barn there. So I don't know how much acreage is on each side. I'd say it's slightly more for the heifer side. It has that weird corner over there. Dry cows are very happy to be outside. I gotta admit, it is nice to see animals outside in green grass.